Did you know that Dubai has recently made a groundbreaking announcement? They are planning to construct the world's first ever hypertower, a magnificent tower filled with luxurious homes, including the highest apartment on earth. However, there's a catch. Luxury apartments can be challenging to sell, and there's a potential risk that this incredible tower might end up deserted, much like previous colossal skyscraper projects. In this video, we'll delve into the ambitious vision of the Burj Bing Hadi and ponder on the kind of individuals who might be interested in calling it home. The developers of the Burj Bing Hadi, in November 2022, they introduced the Burj Bing Hadi project, calling it the world's first hypertower. This fancy term suggests it's all about being exclusive. Two companies are behind it. One is Bing Hadi, a luxury property developer in the UAE. The other is Jacob & Co., known for high-end jewelry, including million-dollar watches loved by famous folks like Elton John and Cristiano Ronaldo. Jacob & Co., despite having no property experience, want the Burj Bing Hadi to be as luxurious as their watches. They aim to create a tower so posh and expensive that only the wealthiest can live there. A standard apartment may cost around $2 million, while penthouses at the top could go for over $200 million each. The big question is, is it worth the price? Inside the Burj Bing Hadi, the tower will be in Business Bay, the wealthiest area in Dubai. It's close to a big wildlife sanctuary and the famous Burj Khalifa. People living in the tower will get fancy services like personal guards, luxury chauffeurs, and even private chefs. All the apartments will be designed by Jacob & Co., the same folks who make stylish watches. The top-notch penthouses will have names like Billionaire, Astronomia, and Flora de Jardin. They will be super fancy with private aquariums, an infinity pool, and a personal gym. And here's the icing on the cake. The tower will have a crown on top covered in sparkling gemstones designed by Jacob & Co., just like their famous jewelry. But there's more. Jacob & Co. wants the Burj Bing Hadi to break records. They want it to be the tallest residential building globally. That means the apartments at the very top will be the highest homes on earth. Not many people can say they own a place more exclusive than that. But the big question is, will people buy these apartments? Billionaires Row Currently, the tallest residential building is Central Park Tower in New York City. It's one of eight skyscrapers on Billionaires Row. Central Park Tower reaches almost 500 meters in height, taller than even the Empire State Building, and second only to the One World Trade Center in the entire United States. It was completed in 2021, costing over $3 billion. The apartments were targeted at the wealthy and famous, with an average price of $22 million, even more expensive than the future Burj Bing Hadi. It seems that billionaires might not be interested in living in skyscrapers. They may prefer standalone homes with yards and gardens. This challenge isn't unique to New York City. Dubai also has residential skyscrapers, and the tallest one, Arena 101, has been unfinished since 2017. Why are they building the Burj Bing Hadi? Why is Jacob & Co. so interested in taking on such a risky project? Well, they might not actually be committed to it. Sometimes, announcing a project is more about creating buzz and getting attention. On the other hand, maybe they're excited by the risk itself. Jacob & Co. has a history of pushing boundaries, and their motto is inspired by the impossible. This is what attracts customers to them. Their watch designs are daring and innovative, which is why people buy them. The same might be true for the Burj Bing Hadi. If it were easy to build, it wouldn't be as exciting for potential residents. The challenges make it more impressive, marketable, and in line with the Jacob & Co. brand. Ultimately, this project is all about marketing and branding, not just for Jacob & Co., but also for Dubai. The Burj Bing Hadi would stand out in the skyline as a symbol of opulence, wealth, and achieving the seemingly impossible. Even the word hypertower is part of this branding. It doesn't have a specific meaning. It's just another word for skyscraper but it sounds thrilling and has already generated excitement. We'll have to wait and see if the Burj Bing Caddy is ever built and if its luxury apartments sell. If people are willing to spend a lot on a status symbol like a wristwatch, it's not too far-fetched to think they might also consider a Jacob & Co. apartment. Some famous figures like Jake Paul and Cristiano Ronaldo might be the first in line to live in the clouds. What do you think about the Burj Bing Hadi? Is it a good idea to build this luxury tower 
and would you be willing to pay $2 million to live there? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.